we're gonna go all the way. Thank you, gang, gang. I love you guys. You're the best. Thoughts on what we've seen over the last couple of days. It, it's horrifying. It's tragic. Uh, we need to have legislation, gun safety laws in this country. Our fellow citizens are getting gunned down when they're out trying to have a, a, a good time or shopping for their kids. It's completely unacceptable. Uh, it's unconscionable. I'm the parent of two young kids, and I, I can't imagine my kids coming of age in an a where they have to worry about being shot when they go to school or when they're shopping or just going out. So what would you specifically do to address it? What legislation would you support? Well, number one, we need common sense gun safety laws in this country, universal background checks, red flag laws. We need to work with gun manufacturers to try and make the guns themselves safer and they don't have interchangeable parts that make them more dangerous. The second thing is we need to have a federal domestic terrorism statute on the books so that our law enforcement organizations can properly pursue organizations and individuals that are inciting violence and really just to have a, a way to both process Execute people who are uh, who are committing terrorist crimes against our nation, as well as trying to really keep track of just how widespread uh, these organizations and this, this violence uh, is in terms of the reach. Because right now we don't have clear information on even that. There have been a lot of very strong comments uh, regarding the president uh, by some of your fellow Democratic uh, candidates. Beto O'Rourke said Trump is a racist who stokes racism. Pete Buttigieg said white nationalists feel validated by the president. And Cory Booker said there is complicity in the president's hatred. In response, the president's uh, acting chief of staff said you place the blame on the people who pull the trigger. Do you think the president of the United States bears some responsibility for what we're seeing. Well, what's undeniable is that there's been a rise in domestic terrorism. There's been a rise in various hate crimes that have been coincident with President Trump's presidency and his uh, political rhetoric. So those two things are undeniable that there's been a rise in these activities. And if I were the president, I would be searching myself to say, have I in some way contributed to this and what can I do differently? Do you expect that he's doing that? I, uh, I'm not optimistic, unfortunately. It's one reason we need to get him out of the, the Oval Office as fast as possible.